Hi, I'm Officer Ashwell with the Central Point Police Department, and you're watching a new episode of Traffic Safety First. Today we're here with David, who is a safety professional, and we're going to be talking today about the importance of high visibility on the roadway. Thanks for inviting me today, Heather. We've got a layout over here that we're going to take a look at, which really drives home the message of safety on the roadway, both for pedestrians and drivers. Let's go take a look. Hi everybody, this is the layout that I was talking about. It shows uh, an average Central Point roadway with an average Central Point automobile. And we're gonna pretend that we have an average Central Point driver here in this vehicle. And so as you can see, we've got uh, a long roadway, it's nighttime, and we've got several pedestrians walking along this roadway wearing different colored uh, outfits, different colored clothing. So the first thing that I want you to understand is that at 65 miles an hour, that average driver with an average car, they need 100 feet to make a decision about what they're gonna do if something happens. Someone steps out in front of them, or they see a problem down the road, they need that 100 feet just to make a decision. So they're gonna travel 100 feet before they even start to stop. So let's, let's imagine that this driver has now made the decision that they're gonna stop at this point and they begin to uh, apply the brakes and they're stopping as fast as they can to get to that point. And so as you can see, this average driver traveling 65 miles an hour just went th uh, 300 feet before they were able to get stopped. And so as a pedestrian, what we learn here is that we wanna wear clothing that is bright as possible. As a driver, depending on what the conditions are, we may try to go slower to try to give ourselves a, a smaller re uh, reaction space and give ourselves more time to make a decision. But ultimately, we wanna be looking at clothing, if we're a pedestrian, we wanna be looking at clothing that's gonna be bright, like oranges and yellows and greens, and maybe with some reflective uh, ribbon in the, in the vest or in the clothing that we're wearing. Another thing that we're seeing a lot of these days, and this is good too, are some of these LED harnesses that runners are wearing and that they're putting on their pets. Anything you can do to be more visible out there in the dark uh, when you're walking on the streets, especially in areas that maybe might be dimly lit, there aren't a lot of lamps, or maybe areas where there isn't an established sidewalk. So these are things that we really want you to think about when you're going to be out there. Okay, so we're out driving at nighttime. It's not pitch black. Um, it's kind of a, a dusk time. There's still some light outside, but that's a time when pedestrians are out walking around. So we're gonna conduct a little experiment where we're gonna have uh, David um, wearing different levels of visibility each time we drive by him. And he's going to be wearing white and then um, a high-vis vest and then dark clothing. I'm gonna be driving at 10 miles an hour and we're going to start the driving to where he's standing is gonna be 100 feet. So it'll be interesting to see how well we can see him. So here we can already see the high visibility vest even at 100 feet. You would think the white would be easier to see, but it's really not. And the black hoodie is definitely hard to see. Let's watch that again. So from this point, he's really hard to see with that hood. In fact, I, could, I couldn't really see him until I got up close. The high visibility vest is the brightest and definitely the way to go. Thank you so much, David, for coming out and helping us see what it takes to be visible on the roadway. Drivers, make sure to look out for pedestrians on the roadway. And pedestrians, do whatever you can to be seen. That concludes our episode. Thank you so much for watching.